The Margaret River region juts out from the southwest coast of Australia into the waters where the Indian and Southern Oceans meet. Mother Nature was in fine form the day she put this place together. The Margaret River region, or Margs as the locals like to call it, is a place of abundance. It's a playground, a place of stunning beaches and over 50 world-class surf spots. It's a pantry, a place that wherever you go, something delicious is being put before you. It's a garden, where ancient carry forests give way to coastal heath carpeted with thousands of species of wildflowers. The Margaret River region runs down the Western Australian coastline for over 80 miles and stretches inland for a further 20. And the best way to explore this remote region is by car. A good place to break the three and a half hour drive down from Perth is in Bunbury, whose fabulous beaches, lighthouse and laid back lifestyle are just a taster for what lies ahead. A further 40 minutes down the highway is Bustleton, the gateway to the Margaret River region. Bustleton's jewel is her wooden jetty, the longest of its kind in the Southern Hemisphere. First constructed in 1865, the jetty has endured fires and cyclones and is today one of Australia's most unique dive sites. At the jetty's far end, take the 26-foot descent to the underwater observatory and experience the aquatic life that thrives amid the jetty's pylons. Bustleton marks the beginning of one of Australia's most scenic drives, Caves Road, which gets its name from the incredible limestone caves which honeycomb the region. One of the most accessible is Mammoth Cave. Descending through lush forest, leave the sound of bird life behind and enter a silent subterranean world below. Caves Road winds inland through picturesque villages and historic timber towns before arriving at the region's main settlement, Margaret River. Even though Caves Road is only 69 miles in length, it could take days to fully explore end to end. Each village, each farm gate invites you to slow down, stop and taste all this region has to offer. There are beers brewed with pure rainwater ice creams and cheeses courtesy of the most contented cows you're ever likely to see. And olive oils and preserves crafted with passion and love. But it all comes together, the climate, the soils, the people, in the wines. Surrounded by coasts on three sides and enjoying virtually rain-free summers, as a wine-growing region, Margaret River has been compared to France's famous Bordeaux region. Margaret River's first vineyards were planted in the mid-1960s, just yesterday in wine-growing terms. But today, it's home to over 200 wineries. Cruise from Celador to Celador, sampling some of the most exciting Chardonnays, Shirazes and Cabernet Sauvignons on the planet. And at wineries like Vas Felix, the region's first, enjoy some of Australia's most innovative and picturesque dining along the way. All along Caves Road are turn-offs to the coast, side roads to places that for decades were only known to local fishermen and surfers. At Margaret River's northern end is Cape Natural East, a headland surrounded by secluded spots like Bunker Bay, Eagle Bay and Meal Up Beach. 
The Cape Natural East Lighthouse looks out over Geograph Bay to the west and south towards Cape Lewin. Between June and December, the lookout points around the lighthouse make this Cape a fabulous place to spot whales. Cape Natural East marks the start of one of Australia's most beautiful walking trails, the Cape to Cape Track. The track follows beaches and cliff tops and strings together many places which still retain their Aboriginal names. Places like Yallingup, which means place of love, and Boranup, the place of the male dingo. Then there's Haviland Bay, named in honour of the French explorer who sailed along this coast in 1801. And Preveli, named after the monastery in Crete, which gave sanctuary to a local soldier in World War II. The names of these beaches may vary in origin, but one thing unites them all, their ability to nourish and feed the soul. A great way to experience the coastline is to get out on water on a whale watching cruise. Once hunted to the brink of extinction, today thousands of whales return each year to mate, carve and simply enjoy the warm waters of Margaret River. The Margaret River's southern end is marked by the Cape Lewin Lighthouse, where below the waves of the Indian and Southern Oceans meet. Once a team of lighthouse keepers toiled to keep the light burning, Today, you can climb those same stairs to marvel at the views and appreciate how the region has blossomed from one of the wildest and most remote places in Australia to one of the most welcoming. Margaret River is one of those rare destinations that's a feast for all the senses, with tastes, touches, sights and sounds you'll savour for the rest of your days.